Well, good evening, one and all. Where have you been <laughs> over the last couple of months? Welcome to another edition of DXB Today. Not just any old edition. Yeah, we're kicking off a brand new season. This is 6.0. Yeah, it's the sixth season of D DXB Today. Uh, and what a time to be launching as we get into the season proper right here in Dubai. Well, it's been a long old summer, but what have you lot been up to? How so lovely to see you, Dina. Thanks, Tom. Back for more. Thank you. Yes, it's been a really exciting summer. We made a really big effort to explore the region this summer. We went to Morocco, we did a road trip. Uh, we went to Egypt, did another road trip. And it was amazing to stick around. And we spent so much more time in Dubai this year. Mm. It was much more exciting. There were fantastic summer camps. I don't know, it was really picking up. I felt like we weren't the only family to stick around here more often. Yeah, yeah. how about you, Lane? Where were you? Some family tour. Sounds like a good one. It was a good one. Um, I, I, I was just in UK, actually. I didn't go around Europe. I'd usually go around Europe or go around places, but I was just in the UK with the little ones and, and traveled around the UK, which was nice. So I did that for the first time and that was, yeah, fantastic. So yeah, uh, yeah, I had a good time. Well, it's nice to be back. That's all we can say at the moment. And we've got so much to look forward to throughout the coming uh, weeks and months. Uh, it is, well, some people call it silly season. We like to call it busy season. Uh, we are getting into that time of year where lots going on and you will, you will have all the information. We'll keep you covered here on DXB today throughout. I mean, calendar's looking busy, isn't it? Insane. I can't. It's already one of the things I'm like, every single weekend is booked with concerts, with events. And I'm so happy that I'm here on this episode because we have all the experts that are going to let, let us in on the best events to look forward to and block our calendars this for. I mean, like, there's so much happening outside the city, but of course, inside the city and inside our studio in, in particular, we've got a lot <laughs> happening. So remember to stick around because we have a wonderful performance from Ryan Gibb. He's going to be doing his latest track and trust me man big shout out to all of the people who book everyone and all of the artists here at dxb today because they've done a fantastic job big up and of course our guest co-host is going to another special one so let's find out who that is hi i'm farah andrews head of features at the national and i am looking forward to getting the show started the fantastic farah will be here with us on the sofa very soon but a quick reminder that this is our sixth season. It's on DXB today. We're here and we've come a long way and we're so excited to show you what we've been up to so far. Have a look. Yeah, welcome to yet another edition of DXB today. Don't go anywhere because we've still got plenty to come on the show. Yeah, well, it's been quite a busy last couple of months. Things are going to get even busier. It's time now for us to bring out our outstanding guest co-host for today. And she's the head of features at The National, as you heard a little earlier on. Overseeing the arts and the culture and the lifestyle department. Uh, a leading figure in the media landscape here in the UAE for Andrews. Is that big enough for a big up? Yeah. <laughs> what a lovely billing. Yeah, you're I'm right. going to come back weekly you're, you're for that kind of... You're always welcome. You're always welcome. <laughs> um, I'm not going to ask you that question because I'm sure you've been asked it time and time again. But uh, and it, uh, it's funny, but we caught up just a little bit earlier on. Summer seems to be quite a while ago now, doesn't it? Things have, have kicked memory. on. Just a memory. <laughs> Yeah, it does. It feels like a very long time ago since it was like summer holiday season for me. But it's been like I'm, I'm the same as you. I've been in Dubai for most of the summer, uh, so it's nice. Got away a little bit, but I've enjoyed a few long hot months here. But I'm ready for it to start getting very busy again. How busy is it going to get? Oh, yeah. As busy as you've known or not? It does feel like it's getting, yeah, kind of up there. 
every night, every day, there is something that we could all be getting ourselves busy with and getting out and doing. Weekends are jam packed until the end of the year, but it's it's a nice it's a nice problem. Nice isn't problem it? to have. It's isn't a good it? problem so to have. So your diary is completely full already. I mean, how honest am I being? My diary? No, <laughs> I have to keep it quiet. <laughs> I need some well, time isn't to sleep. is it your job, though? Don't you have to go and review all these concerts and all these amazing restaurants? Yeah, there is a lot of that. And that's, I mean, that's a lot of fun there, isn't it? Yeah. So we have to balance it. Well, let's get right into it. Right. Because some of your favorites that you want to start with, Farah. What we've got to look forward to. Ooh, Gosh, yeah. there is so much. Music, comedy, restaurants. What is it? What do you want all to of start it. with? So we've got a lot of new restaurants that are opening. That is um, just kicking off with that. We've, I've, I'm sure you guys have heard about, spoken a lot about the J1 development down in Jumeirah. Yeah. It's where La Mer yeah. was and yeah. um, used to, so there are going to be so many new restaurants and they're all starting to open this month. So it's kind of a slow rollout in October. There's a few of the ones that have kind of caught my eye is a restaurant called African Queen, which is a African French kind of combination in that beautiful cuisine. Um, there's a private a members beach club, which sounds pretty interesting called Choo Choo, which is yeah, kind of beach vibes down there. Um, and yeah, there's just so much coming, it's endless. And then away from J1, there are, as Dubai loves a dinner and a show, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. We've got another one coming at the Gatsby on Palm. So you can head down to the Gatsby for contemporary American cuisine and get a bit of a kind of great Gatsby inspired dinner show. Mm. Do you have to dress up for that or? I think it's optional, but encouraged. You know that you're going to dress up for it anyway, <laughs> Lane. Let's not pretend. I'm not. Basically, you know, opening of an envelope. It's interesting you mention all those restaurants and the openings, etc. Because I remember a couple of years ago when uh, Michelin came to town, and obviously we've got Goe Neo now and other, other, uh, other guides as well. And there was a question mark, you know, is this going to kick, kick, kick on the, the restaurant industry? It certainly seems to have done, doesn't it? It does seem to have been a bit of a boost, doesn't it? It's lovely. I mean, I was very lucky a couple of weeks ago to be interviewing Jason Atherton, who's the chef down at the Row on 45. Yeah. And he said the nicest thing. He said the thing about the guides is that they aren't for them, they're for us. So it just kind of like gives the customers a bit of an insight into really extraordinary dining. And I think it is a bit of a badge of honor for Dubai, right? And yeah. Abu Dhabi also has Michelin um, because it's kind of the, sign that on like an international stage like the chefs here are leveling up they are producing mm. extraordinary cuisine um, both at extremely high price points if that's what you're looking for but also kind of more affordable with the bib gourmand category which is mm. i find that so interesting yeah because you've got the green Michelin as well, that, yeah. that, that was uh, a big thing last year. Okay, yeah, recognising the sustainability and those kind of efforts that restaurants are making to take their ingredients, as mm. source them as locally as possible, but also take them as far as they can, which is really interesting. I love that she's like a walking dictionary with this stuff, right? <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> the green Michelin, she's like, let me define that for you, That's for all you viewers. Here. This is why we keep bringing her on the show. Now, Farah, I don't know about you, but we go to Hatta at least three to four times a, a year. You'll find us at that Wadi Hub. And you have to book way in advance because everything just, it's insane how quickly it fills up. So popular. So tell us about that. What, what do we have to look forward to this year in Hatta? Well, it's opened already for another season, which is great. Opened on October the 1st. So we have got just another season of endless outdoor activities which I think is great it's great for kids it's great for adults this year they've got a few new offerings they've got a shooting range if that's what people are into and they want to go down and get some shooting and they have um, lance and spear throwing which is pretty interesting so some new things to kind of try your hand at <laughs> And they so are an axe throwing, is that going on down there at the moment as well? Probably. Probably yeah. They have everything. <laughs> They've got building. slides and biking and hiking and you go there to be adventurous, Tom. Clearly you haven't been and this is something that we need to organize. The old favorites are all kind of also there as well. The thing I, I love doing down there is the fact that they've got kind of like a ski run kind of format for the hiking routes. Mm. So you can do green, blue, red, black. And so it's kind of, you have like these very, very clear maps of how adventurous you want to be. So if you're down there with a the kid, stick to green and blue. If you want to kind of push yourself and do a bit of an exercise hike, get up to the Hatter sign, take your Hollywood picture. Yeah. And if you want to be extremely bold, get on those black and kind of like more adventurous routes, which is, I think it's, it's amazing. It's yeah, so, yeah. so clear and people can get out and spend a day out in the, out in the sun when it's cooling down, which it is 
definitely starts me to do right. <laughs> Touch wood. A few <laughs> more weeks, a few more weeks, we'll be all right. Such a good family destination. Now, but I know you've got so many more uh, bits and pieces to share with us, but we, uh, it is time for a break. And after the break, we're speaking to someone who's had a huge influence on key initiatives in global markets. Stick around to hear from the senior vice president of Dubai's Department of Economy and Tourism after this.